Welcome to our new issue tracking system, which is powered by open source product named Open Project. In this video, I'll show you the basics of navigating the system and how to report a new issue, or as it is called in Open Project, a work package. When you open our issue tracking system, you will see an overview page with some info texts and few tables with uh, issues or work packages. Before you can create a new issue or comment existing ones, you need to log in. Your previous Jira login and password will work. You can log in with this sign in dialog, or in some cases, you may encounter this login page. We will pretend to be a community member now. Depending on how you log in, you can either see the familiar overview page or you can get to so-called my page where you have your own tables you can customize later. You can also get to this page with this drop down here. To get back to the overview page of our midpoint project, you simply click on the logo here. Within the project, you can navigate with the menu on the left, which can be also toggled by this button. Besides the overview, you will likely also use work packages, which shows one big table of work packages, which can be filtered. But let's focus on creating an issue now. To create a new issue, you use this green button, choose the work package type, and then you can fill in the information. Alternatively, you may also encounter this green button on the work packages table, which works very similarly, but it opens only a small portion of the screen for the data, but you can easily expand it to the whole page. So let's fill in the information. Good bug report starts with an expressive subject, description with all the information. Here you can use rich formatting if necessary. Then you state the affected version, for instance, and whether you're a subscriber or not. Uh, use customer ID, not the subscription ID for your installation, of course. Uh, describe the environment if it helps in any in any way and save. The next time uh, the community member logs in to the issue tracking system, he will see the changes and also that it's assigned to him. So we can add the information, also tag the developer to hopefully make it all faster. Uh, so we got the information. He can even copy paste some additional pictures. Note that in this moment, uh, the external users can't edit the issue itself. They can only interact with us via the comments. The developer has now all the information necessary to work on the issue, which is indicated by the changed status and also the fixed version was assigned. Eventually, the status of the issue will uh, change to one of the closed statuses, uh, such as resolved or duplicate, and so on. But this is beyond this short introduction to our new issue tracking system. Don't forget that the quality of the report is always more important than the tool that is used for it. I hope the new system will work well, both for you and us. And uh, if you discover any problems, let us know on the email that is mentioned on the overview page. Thank you.